My sister doesn't like us that much, actually. The Rhine Confederacy. Saxony would be very helpful. Let's try and get Saxony. They were quite powerful, actually. Reasonably powerful, actually. They did have a reasonable force. Okay. So, I am still waiting for this weather to improve, so we'll give it another turn, perhaps. Uh, at least long enough to try and get some more supply to Napoleon's forces. We can... Eh, maybe... Eh, we'll take it from here. Five days. At least it'll be there. Then I'll send this other supply over here. So at least uh, we'll have double the amount of supply to go into the uh, terrible, terrible, awful German weather. Okay. I do ramble too much, don't I? I ramble so much. The problem is, <laughs> I ramble because I don't want the videos to be just me cursing at the fact that... Oh, that's the thing as well. I, I need to try and stop swearing so much. I know it sounds odd, but hear me out, hear me out. I need to try and be reasonably friendly to younger people. Um, I have taken a note that uh, my analyti analytics, there is a certain number of younger people, and I, I, I need to watch my language. I'll try. I'll try and uh, be quite nice. So, it's better to hear bloody a uh, bloody lot more. A lot more bloody. It's one of those words that don't quite work like that. So yeah, there we go. Fill in the turn in. Professional. Is that the Rhine Confederacy then at Dortmund? Who is that? I think that's the Rhine Confederacy. Oh no, that's Hessen, isn't it? That's the Hess. They, they need to be on my side. I really do need them. What I want to try and do is set up a um, series of buffer states with the German minor nations. At least then I'd be able to kind of keep them off my back. As long as I can keep the war on um, enemy soil, that'd be fantastic. I'm not entirely sure when... Um... Yeah, I'm not entirely sure when the um, Austrians will declare war, actually. I don't really have any, like, sort of timestamp for this. This is this is what I'm not used to. I mean, with World War One, I'm pretty knowledgeable, uh, knowledgeable on the Great War, so I can kind of guess what's going to happen. Right, so we're in February now. Wow, and the weather got worse. But at least it's worse for the British. Suck it, Britain. Okay. I'm not confident. Considering we've lost ships. So, let's go into harbour at Sherbog. Ah, <laughs> shit. This, this seas, the seas are turning against me. Right, surely Britain's got to uh, pull back at some point. I mean, if I can keep my fleet uh, rested in port for the time, and then come out when they're fairly weak, I should be able to overpower them, or at least do some damage and force them to withdraw. I wish I could construct fire ships or something like that. That'd be great. Okay, so I need to see what the response to my, um... Oh, okay. I'm sure that's gonna help. Wait, are we actually fighting the Russians? If, we've, if they've just been given uh, passage through, uh... By Austria, that, that doesn't bode well. Right, Major... Czar. Oh, they're fighting Persia. Okay, that's decent. How the fuck do they have, like, passage rights for everybody else? I swear, what would be a fun game is basically trying to go, like, full Soviet Union, plays Russian, just try and conquer everything. That'd be bloody interesting. I don't know how large their arms are. Okay, right. So it takes around a turn, actually, or a little bit longer. I'm not entirely sure as of yet. Developing territory. Okay. So we should probably develop our own territory then. That's diplomatic. Oh god, I, I noticed that the turn didn't actually crash there. 
So if we keep going, we'll try another couple turns and see how it goes. Because if it doesn't crash when internet security is off, then I can just turn that off in the future and we'll not have to deal with that crap. I, I'm still so happy about this, it's just so much better. Right, developing, um, how may I just call this? Might as well. Got that lag just then. Uh, developing territory. That would increase our loyalty. If we could construct roads, that'd be nice. We could see some horses as well. How many horses do we actually gain? We gain 63 a turn. Uh, defensive works. Hmm. Okay. So it's only 50,000 pounds. I'll develop these smaller towns down here, actually. Then at least uh, they'll be able to serve as better depots in the future. Okay. Yeah, we did take quite a number of hits there. 100 hits. That's brutal. Yeah, once they get into port, we'll be able to see that. Is this how many reserves? Oh! Right. So that's how many is missing. I'm used to it being red, actually. What are we lacking here? Oh, right, we don't have the horses. I'm gonna need a hell of a lot of horses, aren't I? Should be fine. You're right, okay. So we can replace that, then. I, I would have um, expected it to be red like the older games, but no, it's not. So that's something to bear in mind then. What are the Spanish doing then? Hmm. Right, so we still have mud. Marshal Ney! Six days, I'll do. Oh, but you don't have supplies over there. Oh, you do, actually. Okay, so we'll go to Le Mans, and then uh, return after we can go to Nantes. Is it Nantes? Yes. I feel so bad if you're French and you're watching this. I feel so bad for you, son. I'm going to butcher every name possible. 19 days. I think I'm going to recruit some of those, um, these, actually. They seem really good. The fact that you get all the supplies, well, the support, sorry, and, uh, the cannons as well is pretty fucking interesting. Okay. Guard divisions would be quite good, actually. We could only have one more. So, we'll just stick to the normal infantry for now. 9 Division, 18 of 5. Right, so that was a heavier focus on infantry. Infantry line division. Okay. So that's actually a better division then. Recruit two of those. Start to mass in our land forces. I mean, Britain's not far from matching us, so we do need to try and pull out in front. We have 61 engagement points. What do we want to do with these vital points? I raise taxes like a dick. I can't raise taxes like a dick. Shit. Ah, fuck. Okay, one more turn. We'll be able to um, enter over here. <sighs> Has Oldenburg responded? You dicks. Okay. Oldenburg. You asked for it, son. You asked for it. I need to find out if they're allied with anybody. I doubt it. What a dick. Oh, it's basically a uh, bishop, isn't it? Okay. So you have no allies, so that means I can truly just fuck you over. Treat you available. Declare war. Declare war against the Tiger Nation. The sneak attack in a tribal nation is not costly. Uh, doing the same against a major power will be perceived as dishonorable and thus very costly. So basically, we'll have to wait another turn. And then we'll be able to invade Oldenburg. At least then we'll be able to secure ourselves some more territory. Okay.
Okay, save and move on. We need places that we can use um, as supply depots, basically. If it doesn't crush this time, I've got really good hopes for it. I'm playing um distance ah uh, distant stars. Is it distant worlds or distant stars? I think it's distant worlds. I'm playing distant worlds universe again. Actually, I downloaded the Beyond the Standard mod. Really fun, actually. But I'm one of those people where I want an absolute minimum of colonizable worlds. I'd rather have to fight tooth and nail for a world rather than just have an abundance of them. I, I, I don't enjoy that. It just I don't know. It's one of those games where it can quickly become a micromanagement nightmare. So, um, I love to play with this small amount of worlds. Um, hmm. Now this is the thing, I can't really see what's going on. I don't know what the British are planning. What scares me is I don't know where the rest of the British army is. I was expecting the British to be quite weak with their army, but at this point they, they were pretty fucking beefy. They're pretty much second in terms of army size. I don't know how big the uh, Russian army is. I might be able to check how big the Austrian army is. So we'll have to try and find that one out. God, I used a lot of war supply and just everything recruiting those companies, didn't I? Okay, so we can see some movements. Okay, guys, and... Once more... Back. I mean, fourth time now. There is something causing this crash. And it's really bloody pissing me off. <laughs> I'm not going to recruit those extra troops this time. I might recruit one of the um, line divisions. Ah, bugger it, I might as well go with the two. Infantry division, sorry. I think I'll recruit them myself, actually. At least then they might be um, available for use somewhere else. So I'll have them uh, recruited down here, then. Okay. I don't know what's causing this. I mean, I've got internet security turned off, so... Unless it's something... Something is bloody doing this, and I'm running it as administrative mode as well. So do we send the declaration of war to Oldenburg? Ah, I'm tired of fighting Oldenburg. If you could... Oh, you could scroll. Wow, I didn't know you could scroll. I was about to say, I wish you could scroll, but you can. Okay. Declare war on those cock faces. Beautiful. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, we are close enough. How long would it take us to get there, roughly? Four days is absolutely nothing. So, yeah, those supplies would be there in a day. We'd have... fuck's sake. We'd have um, backup forces really close by, actually. Um, actually, we'll have him move over here. He would be there in four days. How long would your supplies last? Um, uh, he'd be able to last that. They'd be able to last. So, we'll try this turn once more. And, uh, then I'll bring the session to close, because there's something. And I, I don't want to put you guys through this. Through constant crashes. I mean, it, it must be as annoying for me as it is for you. I mean, you know what I mean, other way around. God damn it. This is what happens when I record later on at night, I kind of just switch off. <laughs> okay, well at least with uh, Brandenburg City, it's not Brandenburg, God, Oldenburg. But yeah, with the Oldenburg cities, um, especially Bremen, from Hanover as well, we'd, um, we'd have some nice assets over there. I'm not entirely sure what the di diplomatic implications of declaring war on a nation is, actually. I don't know if it turns opinion against us, which I imagine it would do, which could be dangerous for Prussia. I don't want to have Prussia turn against me. I mean, Prussia's not that powerful. They only have about 5,000 combat strength, but 5,000 combat strength added to the Austrians and the Russians and the British, um, yeah, that, that would be dangerous. I could do with strengthening my position in Italy as well. 
we would need to try and um, deliver it to uh, coup de gras to the Austrians, if at all possible. The thing with Austria is if we to, if we were to take their key cities and perhaps um, take their cities where the crossroads meet, we could make it exceptionally difficult for the Austrians. Basically deny them transit, force them to head through horrible terrain and they'll suffer, well, they'll suffer the attrition. And we'll be able to fight on the defensive, okay. Oh, it's good movement. I think you can kind of tell when it's going to crash, actually. I don't think it moves the um, units when it's going to crash. No. Okay, so that is a sign that it's actually worked. Okay, so we have 2060 combat strength over here. Um, are we able to actually go to war? Ooh, a new uh, national government modifier is available. Let's take a look at that then. So if I press F4. Right. So these are the laws and creed. Hmm. Okay. So do we get like a free one or something? Let's see. Military organization. Is it one of these? Oh no, this is just some um, uh, military organization, isn't it? Oh, okay. Oh, that's really nice, actually. We have an order of battle. That's lovely. I really like that. That's really nice. Ethnicity. Wow. That's fantastic. Quite like that, actually. Um, okay. So it said F4, didn't it? So it's definitely decrees. I'm just not entirely sure what counts as a decree. So these are all locked. Uh, perhaps we'll save it. Well, I think we'll save it for the time being. It's probably these ones, isn't it? Probably like the foreign recruitment and stuff like that. But I think we'll save it for the time being. I'd like to see if it actually results in anything that we could use to our advantage. The bloody Americans are continually ignoring us. Uh, the Kingdom of Holland has refused our request an expeditionary fleet. What dicks? France has declared war against Oldenburg. Okay. Right, we have some soldiers that have been successfully trained. Uh, depot. Okay. Hmm. They're running out of supplies. Okay. So we managed to make the grand trip from there to there. Losing a hell of a lot along the way. We're here to production. Okay, yeah, I forgot to build these, didn't I? Well, at least we have some horses to replace these guys. Damn it. Need horses. Ah, uh, I should be fine with that. No, but I do need to keep these up to scratch. Okay. Uh, Marshal Ney has arrived in uh, Le Mans. Okay, so we'll head to Nantes. Our Admiral is almost over here, actually. Did the Spanish respond? They refused as well. What digs? Hmm. Nassau ignored us for a full alliance. Oh, well, at least Saxony and Denmark's good. They refuse to give his rights, though. Hmm. What are the Spanish doing, then? Spain would be a very interesting game. You're significantly weaker, but you are in the war from the start, so it's like, what could you possibly do? Okay. We'll make our first offensive then. Right, so we could be there in six days. It's a level six city. 
We might as well go straight for the um, heart of Oldenburg. We do have Hegeland as well. Dutch ships over here. I still can't see what they have off the coast there. Right, he needs to be moved into a natural place with some supplies. Okay. Once they're up to scratch again and recovered. Right, how are they recovering right now? And they're gaining about 2.31 uh, cohesion per day. So, I don't know if we lost the ships completely, but I think they might be able to recover. Okay, the fleet over here is still doing fine. If we can get a better admiral over there, I really wish we had better admirals. Is there no one we could promote? No, not right now. Right. I don't believe the Austrians would have much in the way of a navy. Let's go over here to Strategic Atlas. We'll go over here to History. Um, I can't see. Can I replace this then? I don't know how you replace them. Hmm. Number of loyal regions, 342. Number of guns. Okay, so the British out um, do is in artillery then. That's not good. So perhaps we should have a um, artillery drive then. It would not hurt. I need to know how you replace these. I don't know how you do it. It's kind of strange. Alright, so we can actually see a uh, build up here, can't we? Turn 9. So that's showing what could be the build-up then, I think. Okay then. How much does that actually cost us to recruit some artillery then? So if we can do that, then uh, we can try and increase the amount of artillery pieces that we have available to us. There's only this artillery at the moment. This is 1805 artillery. Guard horse artillery. Horse artillery. Light horse. 12 pounder guns and the 6 pounders. Uh, what kind of cannon is the horse artillery? Can't be that large, I don't think. Uh, 12, uh, 10, 12, and rate of, well, range is 4. Okay, so this is definitely better artillery, it's longer range. And how much does this cost us? It is um, 40, it is 42 conscripts and 82 war supply, 85 war supply, I stand corrected. And how long do you take to build? 30 days. Okay. So I do need to recruit some uh, supply elements down there. But the artillery will be important. So there we go, we're we'll investing in artillery. I can't be outdone by the um, British. Okay, so it'll be there in six days. I'm going to try and see if we can get one turn out of this. If it, if it wants to just work for a turn so we can try and see some combat, that'd be fantastic. It would a significant way into the game, well, I'd say significant, end time values were a significant way in, but we've not really seen anything happen as of yet. And that's a bloody shame. I want to see you, well, show you guys some actual combat. Okay, okay can get um, into Oldenburg. I forgot to check what the actual weather was like. I'm going to assume by the snow on the ground that it's still horrendous. Which is pretty awful, actually. I mean, we kind of started in winter, didn't we? Absolutes. Come on, give me this turn. It was nice that the Bavarians to declare war, though, but they don't really have any sort of access through. Cool. 
Come on. Maybe. Well, they're stuck in their supplies, so perhaps. Oh, come on. Come on, Ajiod Gods, give me this turn. Come on! I've got so many different files to compress, and that's really irritating. Oh, yes! Oh! So there's a small battle between the uh, British and the Spanish in Cuba. 1,000 men, I believe, on each side. Huh. I would assume that the uh, Spanish actually won that then. And good, it actually fucking worked. Ah. Wolves going crazy. Wow. Fucking Napoleon moves like crazy. Okay, so what is the weather like? Horrific. It's horrific out at sea as well, I do believe. Yeah, harsh weather. Oh, no, it's, it's fair weather over here now. Fuck. Almost out of supplies. Right, so our Admiral has arrived. That's better, though. That is a lot better. If he wasn't so shit, we'd be able to actually command this fleet to help, like, well. But, I mean, 900. So we gained another 300 combat strength due to the fact that we have somebody to command it. To a better degree. So that's not bad. Have our ships recovered? They have recovered decently. Uh, the weather is fair, actually. Oh, you know what would be quite... Good, actually, if we try to invade um, Jersey. We could probably make it to Jersey with this force. I mean, at least taking Jersey, we'd be able to take a um, fortress from the British and um, hopefully get some coastal artillery in there, then. At least um, improve our coastal defences. Right, Holland has declared war on Oldenburg, Berg has declared war, Switzerland so to the Kingdom of Italy. Commercial cream has been agreed on, I follow the alliance then, to be honest. Okay, the Grand Army has suffered 72 heads. So we suffered a lot of hits, actually, but we should be okay. Um, let's see. Whoops, no, not that. Ah, siege works. Hmm. So there's a 20% chance of that. Ah. Reduce the cohesion of up to 15 elements by 50% as part of the besieged diamond would affect or not fight when the assault is decided. That's really interesting. It's only got a 30% chance, but hey ho. Got show of offensive works. Retaliation. Hmm. I could do with requ uh, requisition in more horses, actually. How? So we're still muddy over here. Nay. Yeah, 23 days. Not that good. Hmm. Well, the French division is building down here, so that's alright. Um, I'll send this force over here, actually. 15 days. We have some artillery that will be valuable. That's a large army on the border. What are you thinking about there, Austria? Wow, Mantua! That is a size 3 uh, fortress. Interesting. We could defeat that Austrian army. I'm going to increase the um, garrison over here, actually. Hmm. Irish. Interesting. Right, so um, how many men would we get in here? About 2,000 ish men. Brigade. Um, yes. Oh, so these are conscripts. Right. 
They don't cost us any uh, war supplies, so I'm going to get some of those, actually. And they will form the garrison of the fortresses. I mean, we could get a couple thousand men into the um, fortress over here. It'd become a major obstacle for the Austrian armies. And then what I'd be able to do then is uh, flank around them through Verona. Um, hopefully across here. I don't think I'd be able to make it across here, but um, through Verona. Then again, actually, I don't know if I'd be able to cross. Could I cross here? No, I can't because we're not at war, but you know what I mean. Hmm. Okay, Napoleon is over here. I don't want to move you because I don't want to subject you to the harsh weather. Okay. So, we'll have to save here at this point then. I do apologise that we didn't get too much done due to the fact that it bloody crashes every five minutes. But I will find a way to fix this. It will come a day when we can actually play. But things are turning. The wheels of time, they are returning. Things are changing. We'll have to see what happens. Um, I've put historical attrition on now because it's kind of bullshit if the French Navy can just sit off at the coast there just indefinitely. It, it would be kind of ridiculous. So thank you guys for watching so far, and I hope you enjoy seeing the top of the screen. I enjoy seeing the top of the screen, I'm sure you do as well. So until next time guys, thank you so much for watching, and do remember to like, favorite, and subscribe, and share with your friends, and yada 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 YouTuber crap. Until next time guys, goodbye.